Eyewitness News on Fox Providence continues. For years, we've been tracking Rhode Island's red tape and the state's attempt to become more business friendly. Now the office tasked with cutting red tape and streamlining regulations is itself facing scrutiny from lawmakers. Steve Gilson sat down with the chair of the committee doing that review and went to one of the people tasked with cutting through the red tape to see if Rhode Island is really making progress. Thursday night, the House Oversight Committee will meet at the State House and they'll grill the Office of Regulatory Reform, seeing what work has been accomplished since its inception eight years ago. It's something we wanted to know, too. We know it as red tape, regulations, fees, licensing requirements, and Rhode Island has a lot of it. In fact, a study by the Institute for Justice says Rhode Island has the 10th most burdensome regulations in the country. Everything I feel like the that the state's asking for is just money, money, money. We've been tracking business owners' complaints about red tape for years, from barbers like Manny Fresh to HVAC workers who are required to go through years of training. This has to be the year for results. We're in a critical budget crunch. State Rep Patricia Serpa is the Oversight Committee chairwoman. She wants to dive into the paperwork to see if years-long state promises to reduce regulations have come true. We need to see them really make this a priority, a sense of urgency. And I'm kind of not getting that feel. We asked the governor's administration if they've had success peeling away the tape. There's a lot of people out there saying you're not doing enough. Um, what do you say to that? I, I think it's a balancing act. You know, it's really important to listen to what the business owners have to say and see if there's some healthy compromise. The director of the Department of Business Regulation, Liz Tanner, told me they've tackled many nuisances. For instance, if you go out to brunch on Sundays in Rhode Island, you can now order a mimosa. That wasn't the case just a few years ago because of a regulation. Sometimes Tanner says they don't necessarily need to repeal a regulation, but simply streamline it. There's an effort underway to review every single regulation in the state. Take a look. Tanner says over the last few years, they've eliminated over 3,800 pages of regulations. This chart from the Office of Regulatory Reform shows they've removed 48 regulations since July. And so we pulled together a list and we've been kind of hacking away at them one by one. Why is it in the crosshairs right now? It, and it's not even in the crosshairs. I mean, we're trying to get this economy going. Serpa says she's frustrated it's taken this long to get results and wants more this year. People are paying good tax money for these offices, for these professionals, and they need to get their money's worth. Tanner says they've also worked with cities and towns in the state to try to make permitting available online. Serpa says she'll keep an open mind going into the Oversight Committee hearing tomorrow night. I'm Steve Nielsen, Eyewitness News. And our dive into red tape continues on WPRI.com. Want to see which regulations have been cut? We've posted all the details from the Office of Regulatory Reform. Plus, there's a link where you can tell them which regulation you think needs to be repealed.